What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. In the world of smartphones, there are now two kings of the ring. In one corner, we have Sprint's Evo 4G, and in the other, we have Apple's just announced iPhone 4. Well, the iPhone 4 is not coming out for a few more weeks, but we do have the Evo 4G to be unboxed here, a phone that I'm very excited to take a look at. We'll run through all the specs as we do the unboxing. So let's go ahead and dig right in. I have not seen one of these yet in person. We're going to use, of course, the obligatory big old knife, and I will try, again, to not stab myself, making no promises whatsoever. All right, to cut into the packaging, I think. Got another envelope down here. And this is a demo unit uh, from the folks at Sprint. Going to pull more packaging. They really wanted to make sure this thing was very well packaged. And here we have the Evo 4G for Sprint. So this is going to run you $199 on contract after, of course, a rebate. From that I've heard, it seems to be uh, well worth the money. Uh, specs on this, it has a gigantic 4.3 inch screen with a resolution of 480 by 800. It can show over 65,000 colors. Of course, the screen is capacitive. It's got a whopping eight megapixel camera which can shoot video in 720p, uh, which is obviously uh, very impressive. It's running a Snapdragon processor clocked at 1 gigahertz, uh, sitting on top of Android 2.1 and not 2.2, and using HTC Sense UI. It has 512 megabytes of RAM and uh, about 1,024 megabytes of ROM. So enough of the geeky spec. Let's get to the phone. I'm really excited to see this. It kind of comes in an egg carton. I guess, eco-friendly packaging. Go ahead and pull that off. Cardboard cover right on top. Pull that out, and here we have the Evo 4G. And this thing is big. I mean, you can really, <laughs> that extra almost inch on the screen, you can definitely tell, but it doesn't look too big to not be pocketable. Push it off to the side, and we'll continue our tour and see what else we get. We have a red battery. I think the inside of this is red. HTC started doing that with the Incredible. Push that off. Keep digging in, see what else we get. Probably just the standard stuff. You're getting started guide, which no one's going to read. We've got a wall charger, which just plugs in. It's got a USB port on the end. And we've got a micro USB port, so it is a standard, which is nice. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison here to see how this compares to some of its competition. Uh, let's take a look at its Android stable mates first and reach across and grab it. We have the Nexus 1. You can definitely see a size difference there. And we have the Verizon Competition. We have the Droid Incredible right there, and you can definitely see the, <laughs> the much larger screen size. Uh, let's see if there's any thickness difference between the three. And they all look to be relatively thin phones. So let's push the other two off to the side and continue our tour of the Evo 4G. Now, I don't know if you guys get 4G where you're at. I'm in Southern California. We don't have it quite yet, although it is supposedly coming sometime soon. So you're just going to be here on, uh, on regular 3G service on Sprint's network. Uh, so we've got dust on the screen, but we have four capacitive buttons across the bottom, sort of your standard Android buttons. You've got your home, your menu, your back, and a search button. There is the front-facing camera, uh, which I believe is 1.3 megapixel, and you can use that for video calls. Uh, over Quick or Skype, I believe, too, which is kind of neat. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got nothing. On the right-hand side, you've got a, it's like a volume rocker up and down and nothing else. On the bottom, you've got a stylus. Nah, just kidding. Uh, there is your uh, charging port and actually HDMI out, which is kind of neat. You can actually use this to plug into your TV and watch <laughs> full HD movies right from your phone. We've got a kickstand, which you can use to prop it up if you want to watch something. On the back, there is your 8 megapixel camera and dual LED flash, which is kind of nice, and the Sprint Evo 4G branding speaker grill, and your 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and a, what I assume is a power and lock button. Let's go ahead and pry off the battery. Back, so you can do this. And let's pop it in and do a first boot up. And let's see if somehow I've got 4G service where I am, which I definitely doubt. This also comes with a mobile hotspot app, so you can use this as a MiFi device. And similar to what we've seen on the Incredible, the back of it is totally red. And it looks like the micro SD card is sort of lodged in there in a very weird way. I assume they had to reshuffle the way they usually do things. 
um, to get the extra antennas for uh, WiMAC, which is 4G to work in here. So your battery, again, which is big and red, is of size. Let's see if we can find the size on this thing. Well, I assume it's got to be 1,500 milliamp hours, which should be quite good um, to get through a full day's use. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And I've done a tours of Sense UI in the past, so I'm not going to focus that much on Sense um, in upcoming videos, but I will be doing comparisons with the competition to see how this stacks up. Let's go ahead and do our first boot up and see what we have. I assume we're going to get rid of the standard uh, Android. We get the HTC Evo 4G. And i got to tell you, this screen is huge in person, but definitely not too big that you couldn't fit into a pocket. Probably just the right bigness um, that you can get sort of optimal viewing and not look like you're carrying around like a, a tablet in your pocket. So we'll go ahead and watch this boot up screen. And I'll probably cut to the end of this so you don't have to watch this all in real time. Sprint splash screen. And at least where I am in Southern California, uh, Sprint service is very strong. The reception is very good. I experienced very little drop calls when I've used their network in the past. It looks like that's it. It's a very quick boot up process. Preparing SD card. I don't suppose any way that's going to say 4G up top. Probably not. I'll go ahead and push that down. Data call failure. Registration failure. Uh, so we got to go through and do all the on-screen steps. So here is the Sprint Evo 4G, and I'll do a sort of an overview and show you how things work. If I see anything sort of uh, interesting or notable, I'll be sure to mention it in an upcoming video. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Go check it out for all of your tech news and for exclusive content. Check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers, just like the YouTube name, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.